Right, uh, welcome to the Daily Dollop of Maths uh, from ICT Games for children from Year 1 and Year 2. Um, keeping the math skills bubbling over while we can't be at school. Uh, please be sat with an adult and uh, please have a piece of paper and a pencil to get ready. And please uh, join in and uh, call out your answers. Uh, okay, love your mistakes. Okay, guys, here we go. So uh, we're going to start uh, with, uh, from this number here. Uh, turn, to, turn to your partner and tell them what that number says. Yeah, it's 110. Okay, we're counting backwards in ones from 110. Are you ready? Here we go. 110, 109, 108, 107, 106, 105, 104, 103, 102, 101. What's the one less than 101? Turn to your partner. Yes, 100, 99, whoops, 98, 97, 96, 95, I'm just going to pick up the speed a bit now, 94, 93, 92, 91, what's one less than 91? Yeah, 90, 89, 88, 87, 86 right i'm gonna stop there we're now going to go backwards in tens so we're counting backwards in tens so this digit is going to stay the same the the units the ones digit is going to stay the same and uh the tens digit is going to go backwards in tens in ones you know as it were here we go 86 76 66 56 46 36 26 10 less than 26 yeah, 16. And finally, 6. Good job, guys. Okay. Right, okay. We're going to do some counting on the abacus. Here we go. We're going to start at 14. Counting forwards in 1s. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, right, let's pause there. We're going to count forwards now in tens. Going forwards in tens. Are you ready? Here we go. 31, 41, 51, 61, 71, 81, 91. What's next? 10 more than 91. It's a tricky one. Hmm. I think it's going to go into the hundreds. 101. Fantastic. Okay. Now we're going to count forwards in ones again. 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109. Right, one, 109. There's one hundreds, there's no tens, and there's nine ones. When you get to the end, when you get to nine ones, you make a whole new ten here. One hundred, so it's going to say one hundred and ten. Write on the table with your finger how you'd uh, spell in maths one hundred and ten. How would you write in maths one hundred and ten? One hundred and ten. There we go. Look, one hundred, one ten, and no ones. Okay, right. I'm going to make you a number now. So I'm going to switch the numbers up, numbers off. There we go. Lovely. Right. Okay, guys. So have a look at that number. Can you write for me in maths? So not in English, write it in maths. How you would write that number for me? It's got five hundreds. It's got three tens. And it's got five and a bit, six ones. Fantastic. Five hundred and thirty-six. Well, that was a big one, wasn't it? Okay. Let's try another one. Oh, it would be better if I turn the numbers off first. Okay, right. How would you write that number? It's got two hundreds. It's got four tens. And it's got five ones. 245. Okay, here comes your next one. Here's your next one. Tricky one, this one. So it's got four hundreds, one ten, and three ones. Yeah. I'm not going to say the number. 
Can you say that number for me? How would you say that number? Yeah, these two are together. You say the teens are mean. You say that as one number. So it's 413. Okay. Let's try something else. Okay, now today, um, or oh, sorry, yesterday we practiced um, uh, using uh, adding 6 to a number. Today we're going to add 7 to a number. So first of all, we need to practice all the ways of making 7. Okay, so underneath here, there are some counters. Here are some counters. It says there are seven counters. How many are hidden? Hmm. There's seven counters. How many are hidden? Turn to your partner. Yeah, there's five under the hand. So five and two make seven. You might want to write that down. I'm going to write that down on my piece of paper now. Five, add two. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, there's six here. There's seven all together. How many's under the hand? Yeah, one under the hand. And again, we can make a math story with that, a math sentence. What could, what sentence could you make? Yeah, one add six equals seven. Six add one equals seven. Can you do a takeaway? Seven take away something? Yeah, seven take away six equals one, or seven take away one equals six. I'm just going to make a note of one add six. There we go. Right, here we go. Now, let's, oh, hang on a minute. That would be good if I just unhid the hand. Right. Okay. Hmm. There's seven all together. There's three here. How many's under the hand? Yeah, four. Okay. So again, can we make a math story? Write it down. Oh, sorry. Um, turn to your partner. Yeah, four add three equals seven, or three add four equals seven. Can you do a takeaway? Seven take away something. Seven take away. Yeah, seven take away four equals three, or seven take away three equals four. I'm just going to write down my addition story. I'm going to write down four add three, just to help me later. Okay, oh, you can't switch that off. Uh, let's have a look. Now, oh, I think we've done them all now. Okay, I think we're ready to move on. Okay, so, uh, right, okay. Oh, I've just got rid of the thing I need. Oh, bear with me. Okay, we're going to have a quick practice of our bonds of 10 before we move on. So here we go. So uh, it'll be my turn, your turn. So I'll say it first and you say it back. 10 and 0, you're a hero. One and nine, feeling fine. Your turn. Two and eight, feeling great. Your turn. Three and seven, made in heaven. Your turn. Four and six, let's do some tricks. Your turn. Five and five, let's do a jive. Okay, and again. Ten and zero, you're a hero. One and nine, feeling fine. Two and eight, feeling great. Three and seven, made in heaven. Four and six, let's do some tricks. Five and five, let's do a jive. Good job, guys. Brilliant. That's so useful in many ways. Right. Now, we're going to uh, practice our um, with our ten frames again. And last time we were adding six each time. This time we're going to be adding seven. Okay. Now, uh, we we practiced already our ways of making seven. Excuse me. Uh, so we practiced already ways of making seven. The, first, the one we're going to do first, hang on, if I can get it. There we go. What we're going to do first is we're going to add um, seven. We're gonna, here's seven. Here's nine. We're going to do nine add seven. So first of all, we've got to fill up the ten frame. Uh, nine add seven. We've got to fill up this ten frame. What do you add to nine to make ten? Isn't the nine feeling fine? Yeah, one. And you can see it's just one there. So if I give this one to complete the ten frame, how many is left of the seven? And we'll, if I have a quick flashback to what we were doing before, if we've used one, how many is left? Six. So now there we go. So that number's ten. That number's that frame is showing six. So the answer is sixteen. Fantastic. Right, let's clear that. Let's do another one. Let's do. We're going to do six add seven now. Okay, now six add seven. So um, here we go. So we've got to think first of all, what number would you add to six to make ten? 
button and six let's do some tricks yeah four now again let me just see if i can just quickly flash this to get this to say four on one of them here we go we wrote this down before if you've got seven and you've used four how much is left three so let's go back to our 10 frame so if i use four one two three four there we go i filled up that frame now i've got 10 in there now and i said four and three makes seven so i've got 10 here three here so six add seven is 13. okay let's do another one okie dokie let's do eight this time and again add seven okay right so i've got eight in here i've got seven in here what do you add to first of all we're going to work out how much we're going to need to fill up this 10 frame what do you add to eight to make 10 and eight feeling great yeah two right okay so we're going to use two of our seven now be thinking what how much of our seven is left you might have written down a math story for um uh, for ways of making seven when you've used to oh, let's flash past it now uh, uh, there we go right so before when we were looking at seven we said that five and two make seven so something's going to happen between with two and five in this one here we go so if i've used two of my seven to fill up this 10 frame i've now got 10 and what's left of the seven five so we've got 10 and five you could almost write down a one here for 110 and a five here what number is it going to be yeah 15 okay last one last one of these we're going to do five oh sorry no we're not sorry we're going to do seven add seven sorry <laughs> what do you mean this is a double to be honest so you know but it's quite nice to prove facts to yourself in other ways i would just no remember my double seven but here we go so what do we add to seven to fill up this frame what do we add to seven to make ten and seven made in heaven yeah three now what if let's go back to our hands to see if you've used three let's see if we get it to say three and something here we go so there's seven all together have used three how many's left there's four left so we're back at my ten frame if i've used three of them how many's left four so i've filled this one up now this now says 10 i imagine a 10 written here one written here there's four here so seven add seven is 14. okay good job guys okie dokes now we were practicing our number facts for making 10. we're going to use them now to use a number line now the king has got a new castle and he wants somebody to destroy his old castle okay and what you have to do with this one is you have to look at this digit here and think what would you have if, if the um, catapult here is at 53 and the castle is at 60 how far would you have to fire um, to get to, to jump to the next friendly number to the next multiple of 10 to this 10 here three and made in heaven yeah seven so i'm going to pull that down till it says seven and then we let go boom be cracking it try the next one 56 how far is it from 56 to 60 what do you add to six and six let's do some tricks yeah four okay right we're going to go from four now the castle's at 50 and we're at 47 what have we got what have we got to 47 to get to 50 and seven made in heaven yeah three Job. now if you want to make this harder for yourself you can click on this hide the jumps um, tick box here so now 34 and the castles at 40 what do you add to 34 four and mm, let's do some tricks four and yeah six i'm gonna get this to say six a big practice there now uh 20 so the castles at 30 what do you add to 21 one and mm, feeling fine one and yeah nine Oh, 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 it's into somebody's bedroom in the tower. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. So guys, you can have a go at that yourself later. Right, we're going to finish off now. We're going to play play your cards, right? So if you think, let's do which one do you think, which number range we're going to do first. Uh, let's do, and let's do, it's good to do 19 to 20. Uh, right, uh, if you think it's higher, shout higher. If you think it's lower, shout lower. Okay, right, we're at 19. <laughs> That's a good one. What's it going to be? Higher or lower? 
got to be lower surely it's got to be lower i'm going to get four this time so going to get four i'm going to get four i'm just going to hide these guys two oh it's an easy one yeah i agree higher Ooh, we're looking good right 13 Th there's 10 13 is going to be about here what do you reckon i'm gonna go yeah let's go lower i reckon lower yes oh we got three takes <laughs> Uh, we might actually get four. Right, four. Now, four is really good. That's about here. What do you reckon? I think higher. Yeah. Oh, oh. Such a shame. Never mind. Okay. One. That's got to be. We're going to get four now, aren't we? That's brilliant. Because one's all the way down here. So it's got to be higher. Yes. Four ticks. Oh, we want a fringe. Fantastic. Oh, I've got a little drinks thing. That's nice. Okay. Let me think. What's your prize for today? Right. Under your bed, your bed goes, splits apart. Underneath, underneath your bed, there is a swimming pool. And it's one of those glass ones, so you can see all the way through. So you can swim about in the swimming pool, um, and, and it's glass, and you can see all the way through. Okay, well done, guys. Uh, see you next time.